Hey, what's up guys? I know I haven't really done a cost of living analysis uh, for Bam Bang uh, here in a provincial, very provincial location uh, since I've been here just due to being so busy. So I thought I would give you a little bit of information on cost of living out here and uh, what you can expect if you want to come to a provincial area like this, including all the rooster crowing you hear in the background. It never stops. <laughs> So first, uh, for my core expenses, my rent here is 5,000 pesos, uh, which is roughly 100 American dollars. Uh, the internet here runs me about 2,500 pesos. That's with my pocket Wi-Fi and home Wi-Fi. I have Globe at home and I use Smart on the road. Um, so you're looking at another roughly 40, about $50 in internet, uh, which is not bad. And then the scooter payment is about 4,000 pesos, just a little under. So you're talking about $80 uh, for the scooter payment. Um, the rent, scooter, and internet, I budget each month through a app called Good Budget for 275 total dollars, US dollars. Uh, my utilities usually run about 75 American dollars here. Uh, so that's what I base it on around 4,000 pesos roughly give or take um, I set my medical at a hundred because uh, I do take medications and I'm seeing a dermatologist for the acne uh, that's on my back real bad they prescribe some medicine for it so I usually set a hundred US dollars for it or 5,000 pesos immigration expenses usually run between 60 and 80 US dollars or roughly uh, three to four thousand pesos. Um, so if, it, if it's in a month where you need immigration, be sure to set that money aside. Uh, my food budget is about 180 US dollars and that feeds two people here in the province. We shop locally at the market and we don't really do a lot of eating out at all. Everything is pretty much cooked here at home. Um, gas and accessories. Gas and accessories is a list I compiled for uh, anything I need for the scooter if it has a flat tire, which it did this month. I had to replace it. Um, and then the gas cost on it. I set a budget for 60 USD for that, which uh, is roughly 20, 40, 60, about 3,000 pesos. Um, my USA cell phone, which is the cell phone that I use uh, primarily, um, WhatsApp, Viber, I have the nation, I mean I have the um, I have the global one calling plan with T-Mobile which I advise anybody to get it's very good it allows you unlimited data um, the data speeds are slow if you're not using Wi-Fi but you can still check Facebook send emails that kind of thing anywhere that you can get a cell phone signal with Smarter Globe uh, and that bill last month was $153.37 and that's because I went over a little bit. The regular bill is about $120. Um, unexpected costs, I usually put um, about 30 US dollars in there or 1500 pesos just for things that may come up. Um, and then this past month I also paid for my TEFL uh, course and my online marketing stuff with the affiliate marketing because you have to advertise that stuff um, I set that budget at $139 USD, um, which brought a total monthly living expense to uh, $835.66. Now that does not include travel, hotels, or any of that stuff, but that is a basic living expense here in the province. You could do it much cheaper, um, you could do it much more expensive. That is my personal cost of living for the month of March 2018 here in Bambang, Philippines. Later, guys.